everyone and welcome back to a brand new speed wheel. Today I have a Copperdale family home and it's my entry for a chill challenge. So this chill challenge is hosted by the amazing Soul Soul Simsy over on Instagram. Um, I'm not actually sure if they have a YouTube or anything else. Um, I will put that like in the description box of course but I do know them mainly at least from Instagram and I saw that they were doing a shell challenge and I was really in the mood to do one so I decided to try this and I decided to try uh, in the new world with the new pack um this however I don't think I'm going to put that it's like specifically for this pack because it's been like three weeks now and I don't know we'll, we'll see I might though I might but we'll see um but anyways I decided to make this house from this shell um and I think it's from them reaching one k on instagram so congrats on that you really like everyone just go and check them out they have amazing builds um go and check them out they're they're really great um <laughs> i say this every time i do a chill challenge but i do really mean it um and yeah the a deadline for this i think was actually yesterday it was august 20th uh which if everything goes right should have been yesterday from the day this comes out um i was supposed to post this uh, like wednesday or something like this was supposed to go out earlier in this week but um I will probably talk about it later, but you know, I wasn't able to obviously. So you're getting it now instead, but I feel like better late than never. Also, I did upload to the gallery yesterday or t today for me, cause I am recording this on the 20th, but um, yeah, I um, I just haven't had time to do it really. Um, so instead you're getting it now, which I hope is okay. But again, it has been up on the gallery since yesterday, so it should be fine, I think. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this shell. I, shell <laughs> shell i was a little um not nervous but i was a little curious about what i was going to do with it because i did know that i wanted um the back part to be the back part i think in the post like the announcement post which i have well i think <laughs> on the announcement post which i have up on my other monitor currently um i think they put the uh, like what i use as the back of the shell as the front like kind of and um i don't know i just felt like it fit so well as the back so i decided to do the um front part obviously well i use that's the front part uh as the front that sure that makes sense let's just go with it okay um <laughs> and i was a little nervous because you can obviously see that there's like um the upstairs there's like a bump out and you can like make it work like i normally do but the downstairs is just a square like there's no bump out from it so i was like how am i gonna do this but then i did add the um like very, very i don't even i don't even call it a porch but like where the door is so i think it added some um elements to it to not make it look as flat which i do re did really enjoy <laughs> i do really enjoy well i guess i do enjoy it too i am so sorry i am very sleep deprived and school started up this week and everything so like don't don't mind me <laughs> i'll get i will probably talk about it later but um yeah i did have a lot of fun with this shell i did build it like two weeks ago i think um but i did have a lot of fun with it again i also had a lot of fun with it um with the new pack it is for two parents two teens one kid one dog and one cat so this is a pretty big house um and there's also an office so if you want more kids or i don't know a hobby room or something like that you can turn the office into that um if you want to but i did again i did really enjoy making this and i had so much fun with it and i do really enjoy how it turned out as well um and hopefully you guys do as well i don't know <laughs> um i am again well i guess i guess i'm getting into it this early then i didn't think i was going to but um i am very sorry for not posting any other videos this week i was supposed to i actually okay so that last last what hmm <laughs> i think i mentioned in two videos last week or even three even all three videos not last week maybe it was last week or the week before that the week before that i believe yes i think i don't actually know the the weeks are starting to blend together um no okay it would have been last week yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. anyways <laughs> <laughs> anyways um i did mention that that sunday so exactly a week ago probably hopefully if everything goes right um <laughs> i was supposed to post um another shell challenge video and that or like another shell challenge entries more like it um and that was going to be for michaela's shell challenge which obviously is done now however um i streamed that like it was my first stream back if you don't know i stream on twitch you can go follow me there if you want to the link is down below but i did um stream that was the first stream i did back after like i hadn't streamed in like three months and then that was the first stream i did and um the way i recorded that um it did not end up looking good well okay there, there was nothing actually wrong with the recording it was just 
first of all, editing it was so weird because I think it was because I was streaming and recording at the same time, which I have figured it out since then, but that, again, that was my first stream back for a very long time, and it just, was just very, very shoppy, and I know that most of you would probably have said that it was fine and, like, just watched it anyways. I know for a fact that some of you would have done that, but... I just, I was not happy with it. And I don't want to put out anything that I'm not really happy with. Like some, sometimes I'm like, oh, I could have done better, but you know, like I'm still going to post it. But this one was like, I, I did not like, like I like the house. I love the house actually. I think it ended up being really, really cute, but it was just, I was not happy with how the video would have turned out. So I decided to not do it. And then I was going to like, for me, it was going to be fine because I was going to post this earlier this week. Like again, like Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. So I thought, oh, let's like, it's fine. I will explain it in that. But I, I couldn't, I haven't been able to, I'm so sorry if you can hear my cousin. You probably can. She's playing, I think, Ghost Whisperer, not Ghost Whisperer, Ghost Watchers, I think is what it's called. I don't know. She's getting scared a lot. So she might, you might hear her scream. Um, it's back to that. <laughs> I feel like that was mostly something that happened like last autumn where I had to apologize for it all the time. And I think we're back to that. It's something with autumn, it autumn feels. Um, but anyways, I, um, again, I was going to post this, but then I just, I haven't been able to. I have started school this week again, um, and I have a pretty chill schedule and stuff like that. Like, I have Fridays completely off, which is really nice. However, mental health? Yeah, you know, you know, I think a lot of you can relate. Um, and I've just been taking my time doing other things, playing other games, talking to my friends, you know, just doing what I want. Obviously, I do want to do this too, but it is kind of draining and I just, I've been having a lot of fun doing other things. So again, obviously I'd never feel um, forced to do this. So that's why I changed kind of a little bit about my channel like a few weeks ago, but um, I was just, I was just not feeling it really honestly. And so I took a little bit of a break, not really, like not actually, cause I mean, I, I did upload like last week, right? But I don't know, I took a break from editing for a few days and just, you know, did what I wanted to do. And again, school, <laughs> school is fun, you know, I do actually, again, I do enjoy school, but it is a lot just seeing people and stuff, um, and yeah, I decided to kind of just let myself have a little bit of a break, <laughs> so I'm happy about doing that, but I am sorry for the luck of videos, um, that was not my intention, nor my plan, I did not want to do that, but I did, um, so I am sorry for that, plus, um, I've been a little bit sick, are we surprised? No one is, <laughs> no one is really surprised, so, um, I am fine, I promise, but um, I just, I don't know how consistent videos are going to be because I do have school and I do have other things and I just, I, my mental health right now is not good and I know I talk about this a lot, but it is really bad. So, um, you know, I think, I think most of you can understand that and I know a lot of you are going to say that, you know, you can just take a break if you need to and stuff like that and I do know that I can do that, but um, I don't want to because I do really enjoy it. Um, also, I... I'm pretty sure that I <laughs> I haven't thanked you guys for 900 subscribers yet because I reached that, I think, after I recorded my last voiceover. I reached it after that. However, I am now closer to 1,000 than I am to 900 and I don't know what happened. But thank you all so much and welcome everyone. <laughs> I do really appreciate you all being here, but... I don't know how you made your way here, but thank you, and this is insane. Um, so it's it's really actually gotten my motivation up to do things because now I'm like, okay, people actually enjoy my content, I guess, because otherwise so many people wouldn't have subscribed, but it is weird to, um, to just think about that. And I feel like, um, obviously I feel a little pressure to like actually post now, but at the same time, I know that most people, at least like I'm like this, where I'm like, if I see anyone f like actually like having a lot of success, but then they're like saying that they need a break or something like that. I'm never questioning that because it can be very overwhelming. And I I don't know if like if you're a content creator too, I think you can get that. But like it can be kind of overwhelming. Sometimes you can feel like you have to do something. And I never want to feel like that. I never want to feel like I have to do it. This <laughs> I don't know what I just said. So um, take breaks. Honestly, if you're a content creator, take breaks if you need them. I think people would understand. If you don't, if they don't understand, maybe they, like, shouldn't watch you. I'm sorry. That's, like, the truth. I don't know. Um, I am very tired, too. I am sorry. I don't know what this voiceover is. I really don't. Um, let's not question it, shall we? <laughs> let's not question it. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, honestly. <laughs> I really don't. I had so much fun with this house. Um, it was a very kind of like the floor plan for this house was hard, but also surprisingly easy. Um, however, 
you would have seen that the decorations of the kitchen, if that makes sense, like me cluttering the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room came together, like, pretty quickly, and that was because I had already done it once. Um, my game accidentally crashed, which, okay, never mind. It doesn't crash. My game almost never crashes. Um, it never has, like, either with my new PC or my old PC, like, it doesn't really crash that much, and I don't know why, but it just, it doesn't. However, um, if you press, I think it might be alt and then enter. I think it, it's something like that. It's enter with something. I think it might be alt enter. Um, you, or it might be control enter or shift enter. It's one of those. Um, if you press that, you like minimize it or put it into windowed mode, I think. And my, I accidentally did that when I was, um, I was doing, I was doing the living room. Yeah. Um, cause I'd done everything else. I was doing the living room and then I accidentally did that and my game just crashed. <laughs> it just crashed. I did not even have time to like save or anything like that. So um, I did come back to it the day afterwards and like just redid it, which was fine. I was the, however, very, very pissed. Um, not pissed, but I was a little like, I don't know if you've ever had your game crash and like you haven't saved. It's not like you're angry, but you, it's not like you're disappointed, but it's like a feeling of like, uh, you know, just like a Ah, uh, why didn't I do not save and stuff like that? Like, it's just that uh, feeling. So you usually don't want, at least I don't ever want to go back to it right away. I usually take a break of either me sleeping. Because it also mostly happens during night. So I can always, like, take a break from just, like, sleeping. Like, do it the next day, usually. But, um, I don't know if any of you feel like that, too. But that's how I feel. And I am... I don't know. That's what happened. So I was just, like, uh, like, at first. <laughs> but then... It was fine. I just redid it and it was totally fine. Um, also, the parents' bedroom is downstairs and I know that's maybe a little weird. And looking back at it, I, I could have made the bathroom that leads up from the kitchen into a master bathroom. I just realized that. I'm not even joking. Like, right this second. And I probably should have done that, but I didn't. So, they don't have a master bathroom and the master bedroom is a little weird. But I do really like it. I did want to have um, more than two kids in this house. And the upstairs is actually smaller than you would think like it's a really small um and i already had three bedrooms and i could not fit a fourth so i was like well i guess i will make the master bedroom downstairs um and i do really enjoy it again i don't know <laughs> i just i like this pack i really like what i was able to do with it i do really really love both the teens rooms one teens room is very like um sports themed and i did really enjoy doing that but i think the first teens room that i do which is like white and has like flowers and stuff like that is definitely more of my vibe. I've talked about before how that combined with like kind of a darker feel. I don't know. It's definitely my taste. Um, someone asked me on, I did, oh, I think I did like a, um, a thing where like you ask me a number, like there's a thing with like numbers and the numbers have questions and then someone just tells you like a number and then you, anyways, and then you answer it. And I think someone on Twitter um responded with that and like the, the question they wanted me to ask was like what is your style i think or something like that like what's your favorite style or something like that i think and i i replied a mix between cottage core and alternative sort of um and like casual and i i don't know if that makes any sense let me know if that makes any sense but for me it makes sense and that is what i wear and that's like kind of what i am because like one day i can be wearing like very cottage core things and the other day i can be wearing like full-on black i know that's not like alternative but like full-on black with like the alternative vibe to it and just like my i don't know it's just if it fits so well with that and it totally like depends on what day i'm in and it's not just my mood either it's just like what i feel for for that day so i can be like really really like depressed and down and still have like cottage core cutesy vibes and i'm really really happy i have the like i look like i'm really depressed um and i don't know if that makes any sense but that's kind of how i feel and so a mix between this bedroom and kind of the bedroom that i did in my perfect family home that i posted a few weeks ago um like the gamer room I think a mix between these two rooms are kind of my vibe if that makes any sense let me know in the comments if you get what I mean I don't know if you do but um that's just kind of what I feel like and I do really enjoy it and yeah I don't know I was thinking that there were a sheer sheer leader as well so I did put the pom-poms but they really don't have to you can do whatever you want it, again it, you can do whatever you want to this house I really don't care as long as you don't upload it to the gallery and claim it as your own I'm totally fine with whatever you do to it <laughs> I feel like at this point that is just a like a meme at this channel oh, at the channel yeah sure I can't speak <laughs> I'm tired I'm tired I've been up playing games with my friends the past few days and like again I'm in school right but like I have Fridays off so I have long weekends and I can still do things and 
my sleeping schedule is already like messed up from the summer so it's fine though but i'm having a lot of fun playing games and stuff um i'm <laughs> we've been playing a lot of uno and i kind of want to stream uno now because it would be hilarious because we <sighs> We don't play Uno normally. We do sometimes, but not often. Um, we mostly just try to beat the game, like the game stuck structure, and it's so funny. And I do highly recommend like playing Uno online Uno with your online friends because it's the funniest. I, I love it so much. I mean, I, I love Uno in real life too, and I play it with like friends at school sometimes, and I play it with um, like my family and stuff like that, but it, it's just so much fun no matter what you play, where you play it. It's just it's the absolute best um so yeah i don't know i do recommend that <laughs> i do really recommend it but yeah i don't really know what else to talk about for this house i really i really really don't i really don't um what else is talked about what, what else is going on in my life um oh i started watching peaky blinders so um a few like i've been i've been wanting to watch peaky blinders okay no okay well honestly i haven't been wanting to watch peaky blinders because and people are gonna hate me for saying this but i have a thing where i hate anything like not even historical fiction per se but like anything that is set in the past sort of like historical fiction i just i don't like it books tv shows any type of media i just i don't like it it's usually because of how it's filmed because it's usually filmed in a very specific way like with the how it's directed and stuff like that uh but then I've been seeing a few things about Peaky Blinders and I've been obviously seeing it for years since it came out, but like I've been seeing things about it and then one of my friends was like, Mal, you need to watch this. I do think you would really, really enjoy it. So I started watching it and I am hooked. I am only, I just finished season one and I am loving it. I'm having the exact same feeling about Peaky Blinders as I did with Prison Break that I watched earlier this year. I think I watched that in January um, where I'm ha having the same exact feelings because I'm usually a person that like I binge watch TV shows a lot. I love long TV shows. Criminal Minds, again, is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Uh, I, before, I always said that it was my favorite TV show of all time, but I have realized that Sherlock Holmes, the one BBC version with um, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, I think is his name, I believe. Um, I, that, I think that one is my favorite TV show of all time, but after that, definitely is Criminal Minds. And Criminal Minds is one of those TV shows where I can just have it on in the background and I don't really care about it. So I, And I am really in the mood to rewatch that again, so I think when I'm done with Peaky Blinders, I'm going to do that. But um, it's just, it's one of those TV shows that like easy to watch i feel like that with all of the crime shows i watch a like a lot of crime shows um if you've like basically if you've heard of like a, a crime a what <laughs> sorry my throat did something weird but if you've heard of a crime show i most likely have watched it or at least tried to watch it um and i do really enjoy this the same with like medical shows like Grey's anatomy love it uh, the whole chicago series is same way like i can just i binge watch that and sometimes i can just skip past things and i don't really get absorbed in it i do but not like i'm obsessed over it however with prison break and with peaky blinders now i feel like i can't have it on in the background like i need to actively be watching it and that makes it take like obviously longer so i'm like when pe people have always questioned like how i watch tv shows so quickly because i do watch tv shows really quickly normally and that's just because i can just have it on whatever like i can just do things while i'm other things and like it doesn't really take that long and i skip past part if i've already seen like if i'm i, re I re watch a lot of tv shows as well so i can just skip past parts then but with this one and with person break again i need to actively watch it and because it's just so good and like I am so happy I started watching it and it is not filmed in the way that I hate it so which is really really good and I do really really enjoy it and I am looking forward to seeing where it goes however I am that type of person who spoils it for themselves like I I think it's because of my anxiety but like I cannot not know what's going to happen so I already know a lot of the plot lines and I already know what they're going to lead to but it doesn't make it less fun to watch if that makes any sense i do still really really enjoy it um also i am so 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 sorry about my voice i can hear it like going downhill <laughs> i can hear it slowly deteriorating um i really need to get some water i think but it's fine um but yeah um i just i really really enjoy peaky blinders and let me know if you've watched it or if there's any other tv shows like that that you think i would like not like peaky blinders per se but like any TV shows that you think that I would enjoy, mid, like, going off from the ones I just mentioned, um, and I don't know, I, I do really enjoy it. I did, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this, I think I might have talked about it off stream, I'm not sure, but I did start Elementary as well, and I think I got, like, three seasons into that, but then I stopped watching it for a few reasons, um, nothing to do with this, with the TV shows, but, like, things going on with my life, and I just didn't feel like watching it anymore, um, and I, that one I do like, however, again, 
the Sherlock Holmes one with, from BBC is like always going to be my favorite one. I, I I can never like watch that enough. It's so so good, and yeah, and I just think that everyone should watch it because it's just it's amazing, and I never get tired of it. I don't know why. I just I don't know. I never get tired of it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the thing with this house, and I'm, I'm now I'm going back to the house, I guess, but the thing with this house is that I don't think, I think on the gallery it was placed on a 40 by 30, and it didn't say anywhere that you were allowed to or not, it didn't say that if you were allowed or not allowed to put it on a smaller lot, and I did look on the gallery and I did see some people who had already uploaded theirs and see, said that, um, or that the fact that they had already put it on, like, um, what, what am I saying? <laughs> I just realized that I said, like, that what I just said made no sense. But anyways, when I look in the gallery, people had already, like, posted it on other lot sizes. So I was like, it probably is fine. So I decided to do it on a 30 by 30 because I did want to do it in the new world. And no, like, none of the other lots really made sense but this one. So, um, it is here and it's on a 40 or a 30 by 30. I'm pretty sure about it. I, th I think it is. I think it is. I don't think it's on a 40 by 30 or 40 by 40. I think it's on a 30 by 30, I believe. The law specifications is in the description box if you want to look at it specifically. It's always like the price is there. Also, the packs that I use is also down below and like the price and exactly which lot it is and lot size and everything like that is there. Um, but anyways, I do think it's on 30 by 30 and the yard for this house is really, really big. I think a 30 by 20 might actually be the optimum, 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 the optimum size. Is that, mm, I don't know if that's even the right word. Anyways, I think that's probably the size that works the best um, for this specific shell, but I decided to do it here because I like to torture myself with doing the exterior. I even did the exterior thing, like the backyard, like two days after I finished the interior. Like I was just like, I was like, I don't really want to do it, but then I did it and I did really have a lot of fun with it. I that sounded also weird. I think everything just started so weird in my head. I'm sorry, but I did have a lot of fun with it. I did put a pool. I did put like a little picnic area. I put a um, basketball hoop because again, I did think that one of the teens I was really into sports and specifically basketball, but also probably American football, um, I would guess. And I put some kids things as well because there is a kid and um, I used the new, the, not really new, but I used the swing set from the little campus kid and I still don't understand why it's not in the outdoor category, it's only in the kids category and it's still bothering me because that swing set is so, so, so pretty, but I always forget about it because it's not there, but for this house, I thought it really, really fitted and yeah, I don't know, I did have a lot of fun with it and also, because of school and stuff like that, I think I mentioned this in the beginning, but I'm not sure how often I'm going to be able to upload. I do have another build that I think I started upload or uploading, <laughs> editing, which should not take me that long. It's a base game house. Um, and that's probably the next house you're going to get, but it's probably, it's going to be next week. So I'm going to try to at least post once a week, but I don't know. Um, or you might get a, another create a sim before that. Um, I might actually do that. So you get another create a sim before that. We'll see. We'll see. Um, also I forgot to mention, I, how, I'm at the literal end of this video. I forgot to mention, I made a TikTok. If you want to go and follow that, I basically just post, um, sims there, like, just screenshots and stuff like that. Um, so if you want to go follow that, you can do it. The link is in the description box and on my, the about section on my channel page, I'm pretty sure. So you can go follow that if you want to. And yeah, I think that's, I think I've mentioned everything I needed to mention in this video. I'm not really sure though. My brain is a little fried. Um, so don't mind me, you know, just don't mind me. Um, <laughs> but I did have, again, a lot of fun with this house. And um, yeah, again, don't forget to uh, go and follow Soul Soul Simsy on the, on, on the Instagram. Yes, on Instagram and check out all the other buildings um, or houses for this um, child challenge. But anyways, that's basically it for this video and I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!